Yes, yeah, squad, we're going to be working on our tackle confidence today, something that I suffered from when I was a youngster, but applying these tips and this advice, I overcame it. And I want to share it with you to make sure that you start dominating your tackles. Let's go. Hey, I'm Ben John, the rugby trainer, and this channel is all about leveling up your rugby from individual skill drills to do tips, insights, and advice that I can share with you from myself or other professionals to level up your game. So make sure you keep watching. So before we start, answer these questions, and then you'll certainly know that this video is for you. Do you work on your tackle technique all week, but then when it comes to a game, you can't quite transfer it to that scenario, or you don't have the full confidence to make a good shot, or do you work on your tackle technique using pads all the time? And then as soon as the pad gets dropped, then you can't apply that same technique to the actual hitting a player. And if you are answering those questions, yes to any of them, keep watching and we will level up your game. So if you're already seeing value in this video and you're really excited for it to start, please put a thumbs up. Please like this video because it'll be a massive benefit for me and we can reach more players to help them progress their game. So thank you. So on to the video, we're going to be splitting this video into three segments. We're going to be looking at your technique, looking at the intensity of drills, and we're going to be looking at the variation of drills. But make sure you stick around to the end for the bonus feature, because I'm going to be giving you a chance to get a free five-week skills plan. So make sure you hang on with the bonus. It's going to be well worth it to figure out what you need to do uh, to get your hands on that. So let's start the drill. So part number one is technique. We're going to be looking at your technique. So firstly, Check yourself, ask yourself this question. When you're coming off the line to make a hit, do you have big strides or are you running really fast to try and transfer that speed into smashing this player? If the answer is yes, this is what you need to do, okay? So as you come off the line, and yes, you take a couple of quick steps, but make sure that these strides are short. We wanna be chopping our feet, okay? Because if this person sidesteps, then we can react. So as I'm coming off the line now, instead of me running like this, ready to make a big hit, I want to be coming off the line and then as I get closer, as I get to about this far away from the defender, I want to be chopping my feet. Notice as well that I'm leaning forward. A lot of people when they slow down, they slow down like this and then they have to readjust to then adjust to the uh, attacker and then it's quite hard, you're always behind the race then, okay? So as I'm coming forward, I'm chopping my feet, chopping my feet, feet are nice and small and if this player steps, to my right steps i can just step in really quickly okay so we want to be chopping our feet ready so then we can make that hit okay chopping our feet chopping our feet make that hit so it's a good little thing for you to practice is come off the line chop your feet chop your feet and get ready to make that hit so tip number one on your technique on the first segment is chop your feet but still move forward so chop your feet but i don't want to see this i want to see you chopping your feet still with that forward lead. Second part of your technique is where are we looking? A lot of players look at the feet or they look at the eyes of the attacker. So what we want to be doing is, as I said, looking at the belly button. So the middle part of the player. So as I'm coming forward, as I'm chopping my feet, also another tip, keep your hands up nice and tight before you make your hit. So keep them tight here, but relaxed. So like this, tight together, but anyway, I'm looking at the belly button, chopping my feet, looking at the belly button, because the belly button, the middle of their body moves least, okay? So if you're looking at their feet, their feet can move really fast, really quickly, and really sporadically. Whereas the belly button, it doesn't move that much. As somebody sidesteps, it's not gonna move as much and it's easier for you to read, okay? So as I'm coming forward, watching their belly button, if they step to that side, I'm chopping my feet, boom! I can step my foot in close, to close that space. So that's what we want to do as well, is get our foot in close to close that space. So make sure we add that to our game. So watch the belly button and chop your feet. Those are the first, first two parts. And the final part of block number one, the third part, is when we make our hit. So I'll get this uh, sign now. <laughs> when we make our hit, if I'm attacking with my right shoulder, my right foot gets really close, nice and close to this attacker. 
and I want to split the attacker. So if you can see from here, the middle of the body, I am planting my foot in the middle of their body, okay? So I'm splitting the defender. So that's point number one. We split the defender, and then from here, when we make our tackle, we drop our height. This is where we start to fight. And I like to think about fighting as we hit through, chase our feet. So as we hit through, we chase our feet, and then we keep pumping our legs. Because this player is not going to give up easy. They're going to be carrying on ball carrying or pumping their legs. We got to hit. We got to squeeze our uh, hands, squeeze our hands on their legs, like so and then start pumping your feet backwards and drive them backwards, okay? So, point number one is chop your feet, chop your feet, chop your feet. Point number two, watch their hips. Watch their hips with your hands up like a boxer, watch their hips, and then point number three is when you drop your height, same shoulder, same leg, and then we fight. So you tackle, you squeeze your arms. As you squeeze your arms and pull them towards you, you then pump your legs, pump your legs, and you keep pumping until they fall to the floor or you take them down, okay? Whew, that's a lot of talking for me, but those are the first three points. And then the final point of this, our head. We've got to protect our head. So making sure our head is in a safe place and think about it as getting your head to the soft part. So either you get your head beyond and you put your head on their hamstring, which is this part. So I'm putting my head here on their hamstring or their bum, okay? Hamstring or bum, the soft parts to protect your head. So a good little saying is cheek to cheek, cheek to cheek, okay? There we go, that's point number one, that's technique done. So get your notepad, write them down, and take note and apply them to your game. Yes, we just covered technique. Make sure you take note of that because we're going to be using that technique in all our drills. And that leads us on to number two, and that is variation in our drills. When we do our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever night it is, drills, we usually just stand in front of a pad person or a player, and we stand opposite them like this, and then we run up, we make a hit, or we fly into the pad and smash the pad. But what I want to look at now is making sure that we cover a variation of tackle drills, okay? Because, on tackle scenarios, because in a game, it's not gonna be perfectly in front and we're not gonna be perfectly lined up. It's gonna be a mishmash of everything and how can we apply that technique um, by reading a scenario, getting our body in the right position, making the right decisions if we haven't practiced it. So we need to practice a variation of scenarios so we can get ourselves ready for the game, okay? And I'm gonna be posting three videos, so in the next 10, 20 seconds, I'll be posting three videos that have a variation, it gives you a bit of an idea of tackle technique. If you want more, check out my Skills Academy. There's hundreds and hundreds on there for you to follow, okay? And I give programs on there as well, okay? So check out the next 20 seconds. There's gonna be three different variations of videos, but it's all about testing yourself in different scenarios, coming from different directions, coming um, from different pictures so and also different parts of the tackle as well we're not just working on the full part we could potentially just be working on us powering through the tackle or us approaching the tackle chopping our feet or what we do after we've made the hit do we fight and pump our legs and pump pop up from the floor when the when the players hit down so yes check out the next three videos for inspiration on what we can do but bring variety to your tackle drills Right then, so section number three is intensity levels. We've touched on technique and the fundamentals and the basics of the technique which we want to apply through a variation of tackle drills, which is number two. So changing the tackle drills, changing the picture, changing the scenario, can we apply that technique? But now, to build that confidence and help it apply to a game, we're gonna go through a variation of intensities. And 
this is my personal opinion on the levels so if you read the description below there's going to be five levels level one would be super super i call it shadow tackling so it's really thinking about the mechanics and just getting into position and then level five then is full hits okay so me against a player and we're practicing live okay so we call it live last level five and in between there there's a variation so check the description below on the variation of levels but it's super important that we understand the levels because we don't have to do level five all the time we don't have to go bone on bone live all the time to get better at tackling but also we can't just focus on level one and two because we need exposure and the ability to read scenarios at different intensities when we're tired when we are going at pace um, and also getting used to hitting hard okay but when we're programming when you come across and have a look at my skills academy there's a huge variation because we want to get into a habit of practicing and practicing and reinforcing technique through different scenarios different levels um, so that is something that's really important to me so please uh, have a look at the description read the levels but also in the, in the next 30 40 seconds i'm going to be showing you a difference in the variations um, just basic that is it's just one or two videos showing different levels of what you can do um, in your own time or with a partner uh, but again if you want more of them check on my skills academy it'll massively help you because i will program you the session that you can do and then you can go through those um those intensity levels okay so getting that exposure to the levels through a variation applying that technique and doing that now over a consistent period will get your tackle confidence to a whole nother level because firstly we've been exposed to all scenarios you've seen every picture no picture is going to come spring out on you you know what to do in what scenario and that is going to be the main part of building that tackle confidence okay Yes, to the bonus feature, which you have definitely been waiting for, because this is definitely going to help you, um, especially if you apply those ta uh, tackle techniques, those three basic tackle techniques. Also, if you do a variation in your tackle drills and variation in your intensity levels, then this bonus feature is all about being consistent and following a program, okay? So being consistent, following a program, you're not going to get better now, our tackle technique just by watching this video and doing two sessions next week we have to be doing this regularly we have to be doing this all the time when i say all the time once twice a week i'd love to see you doing it twice a week you don't have to spend a long time doing it i usually just focus on 10 minutes two sessions a week 10 minutes as well as doing my team sessions and then from that then you're going to have a massive benefit so 10 minutes this video is longer than 10 minutes okay so that's the bonus feature is consistency in your training and that's why i'm giving you a five week free skills plan the skills plan is focusing on footwork like sidestepping and different sidestepping techniques that you can use and also side tackling an area which we don't practice enough of side tackling so make sure you go to the description below and you read it all and then you click the link to get your free your free you heard it right your free five week skills plan and yeah and we'll start leveling up your game and that's a little sample of my skills academy that's a program a small little program within my skills academy that's going to help you level up um, and build that tackle confidence excited for it so again massive thank you for watching please please subscribe to my video if you want to level up your game um, this this youtube has got so much content from professional players from the best players in the world 
for male and the female side. There's also tips for myself. There's also fun videos, challenges that you can challenge your teammates. So please subscribe, share this with your friends, get your friends involved, your teammates involved. And yeah, thanks everyone so much. And I can't wait to get the next video across to you. Let's go.